Welcome back. So we're coding up different uses of the singular value decomposition in Python. And now we're ready to, to talk about how to use the SVD to compute the principal component analysis, or PCA. And PCA, again, is one of the most important techniques in the statistical analysis of high dimensional data. So if you have big data, and you want to understand what are the kind of uh, dominant directions of variance in that data, then the principal component analysis is going to be the right tool for that. Uh, and we're going to compute it using the singular value decomposition. So as I always like to say, if you're going to use a mathematical technique uh, in the real world on a real problem, it's a good idea to check out how it works on a toy problem where you know the answer first. So that's what we're going to do here, is we are going to essentially create a data set uh, that is you know, Gaussian distributed data with some uh, degrees, so some directions of high variance, some directions of low variance. And then we're going to demonstrate that you can use the SVD of that data to pull out what are those principal uh, axes of variance uh, and so on and so forth. OK? So, uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, in this Jupyter notebook, we're going to create a data set that is a large Gaussian cloud of points uh, that is going to be moved away from the origin. It's going to be stretched out in some directions and compressed in others. And then it's going to be rotated so that it um, still has this kind of Gaussian shape, but it's not uh, zero mean. And it has kind of directions of principal, principal variation. Okay, so we're going to move the center of our data to this xc vector, so two by one. This is going to be two dimensional data. Uh, so x is going to be a bunch of either um, two vectors, column vectors with two elements, a bunch of them, or a bunch of row vectors of two elements, depending on how we stack it. We're going to have 10,000 of these two dimensional points. And what we're going to do is we're essentially going to take an initial, um, an initial cloud of data. This is kind of representing a big Gaussian cloud with unit variance, zero mean. We're going to stretch it out into an ellipsoid uh, given by, uh, it's going to be stretched out by a factor of two in this direction and smashed by a factor of two in the other direction. So the singular values are two and 0.5. And then we're going to rotate this up uh, by an angle of pi over three, so we're gonna we're gonna stretch it out, rotate it by pi over three, and then move the center to the two one location instead of the origin. And then from that cloud of data, so let's just show the last arrow. So now we're gonna have this kind of uh, cloud of data that is not at the origin. And then from this cloud of data, we're going to compute the SVD, and we're going to show that the SVD recovers kind of these principal axes of maximum variance and minimum variance. Uh, and it'll also give confidence intervals uh, that you can use to, to quantify how likely is a new data point that it belonged to this distribution. Very, very useful. Okay. Uh, so again, all of this is just plotting. Uh, this is constructing the X matrix, um, just how I described. We're going to stretch it out, rotate it, and add the center to it. And then uh, what we're going to do is compute the principal components of that data matrix. And so the, the principal component analysis of that data matrix, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compute the average, kind of the, the center of the data, and we're going to subtract that center from all of the data. So we're going to bring it back to the origin. Then we're going to compute the singular value decomposition of that mean-centered data. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell us the rotation, the U matrix that rotates into this, uh, this frame, and it's going to determine the sigma matrix that'll tell how stretched uh, our distribution is along its principal axes, how, how much variance in the first direction, how much variance in the second direction, and so on and so forth. And so I'm going to plot these. Uh, and then we're also going to figure out what the one standard deviation confidence interval and two standard deviation and three standard deviation are based on, on that information. So let's just run this and see what it looks like. OK, great. So this is the original distribution of data. These are our 10,000 points um, in x1 and x2. And notice that the center of the data is not exactly at 0, 0. It's at 2, 1. OK, so it's not mean centered. It has these directions of, of variance that are high variance, low variance, um, and it's, it's uh, at an angle of pi over 3. 
So when you, when you take the SVD of that matrix of data, then what you find is a sigma that essentially has um, two elements that are 2 and 0.5. And that tells you that the first principal direction uh, has you know, uh, a lot of variance, two, uh, a variance of, of 2. And the second direction has, has small variance, a variance of 0.5. Okay. What it also tells you, the information in this U matrix, this tells you how this distribution is rotated. At what angle are those principal components? So literally the red lines here, the first line is the first column of U. That's the first principal component. And the second, uh, the second line is the second column. That's the second uh, principal component. That tells you the, the direction of maximum variance and then the direction of, uh, of the second direction of, of variance, in this case, of minimal variance. Okay, and what I think is really fun is that you can then use these. These actually have statistical meaning because uh, this is a PCA is built on the assumption that your data is uh, normally or uh, Gaussian distributed, and our data is because we cooked it up to be that way. And so you can essentially compute these uh, confidence intervals x standard deviation where you take u uh, times sigma times a circle. So I take a little unit circle, and if I multiply that unit circle by sigma and then by u, it maps into this kind of unit standard deviation ellipse. And that's what I'm plotting as this inner blue ellipse here. The, the middle blue ellipse is a two standard deviation ellipse, and the outer blue ellipse is a three standard deviation ellipse. So this actually gives you beautiful confidence intervals. So if I have a new data point uh, out here, I can say, well, that's you know four or five standard deviations outside of the distribution. It's almost certainly not in the distribution. Whereas if I get a data point here, I can say how confident I am that it actually came from this distribution. Okay, so this was an example that we cooked up where we knew the answer uh, for, for the principal components, but this just shows that you can use the SVD uh, to, to get these kind of directions of maximal variance from data alone. Okay, thank you.